Hello everyone and welcome back to Mount Moon TCG. Today's episode we're playing Pokemon Emerald Version for the Game Boy Advance. So last episode we got our 8th Gym Badge and we ended up finally being here at the Elite Four. But before we challenge the Elite Four, we need to go back. We gotta get some good TMs. Okay. Well, one TM I should say. One TM. Uh -huh. So we're going to get Pelipper P. Pringle. Uh, fly. Where is, where is it? Is it here? No. Meteor Falls. I can... All the way. Left. Upper left. So you can fly to Rustboro or uh, Fall, Fall Arbor Town. Okay. I never remember where things are. Uh -huh. Lucky I remember where half the towns in Kanto and Johto are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we gotta go west. Oh, okay. No, oh. you were going the right way. Uh, then we can actually, if we keep going left from up there, we can go up this little waterfall. Okay. I did buy us more Master Pills as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We were down to three. Down to three. And we should be able to evolve Lanayru and myself before we uh, cut to our big Elite Four battles. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need uh, Mr. Freeze again. Or we can just keep Pelipper. No, you can't. Pelipper doesn't run waterfall. Really? Yeah, it's useless. It would just fly up the waterfall hunter. I don't want to double check. I'm pretty sure it can't, but... Well, I'm already here, so... I know you are, but I want to check for my sake. Let's see. People are just going to be yelling at me. No, yeah, you can teach you waterfall. That's right. Everyone yell at Chris. Uh -huh. Nope. Only fly and surf. Those are the only agents that come in. Well, alrighty then. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is one of the locations where um, after we beat the game... Um, there can be a cave that pops up right there that could have Crowdon in it. But, oh. uh, we'll talk about that one after we beat the game. Alright. Meanwhile, we'll just take a rare candy. Yep. Uh. Back down. <laughs> That's all we needed for here. Now you gotta go to, uh, Meteor Falls, which is south. And I'm surfing. USA. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this is the longest possible path to get to a cave. And there are uh, going to be a few trainers up here, actually. So okay. We can get some levels. Uh, so now you want to surf. And go up the waterfall to the secret part of the cave. The secret part? Mm -hmm. Why is it so secret? I don't know, it's just hard to get to. Okay, that makes sense. Then we gotta go down the ladder. And then, uh, yeah, if you go to the left, up those little stairs, there's a TM. Iron Tail. That's a like a ninety percent accuracy, or maybe it's pretty low. It's not a great steel type move. Yep, we can fight them. There's a. Uh, yep, we everybody's in the right spot. Okay. So if you remember playing Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. 
the post game was the Delta episode, and then had to do with the the Dragon tribe that wanted to bring Raquaza back and everything. These are the people. These are, are the they? Dragon tribe people. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you want to? Uh, you can Dragon Breath. You can just pick on one if you want. I'm going to pick on the Hiriyama. Okay. Because the Hiriyama is hairy. Oh, yeah. And it wants to focus on you. And Medicine Protected. It's... So perfect call uh -huh. on my part. Mm, might be close. Oh. Mm. Oh, unless it's focused. Yep. Okay. Dragon Breath. Yeah. And then Psychic mm -hmm. the Champ. Oh, sure. Now you crit. Yeah, right? <laughs> Couldn't crit last time. No, 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 no. That's too easy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, whatever. Stop just, protecting. Just delaying the inevitable. I guess it's very good that their Pokemon are practicing protection. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's a good thing. <clears throat> protection is good. You know, like wearing your bike helmet and stuff like that uh -huh. when you're riding your bike. Yeah, very blocking. Important. Yeah, very important. Blocking in battle. It's yep. important. Yep. It's been a while since you're ready to see someone. Are you sure you're going to get reception in this cave? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing this is Dragon Trainer. Yes. Or Dragon Tamer. Dragon Tamer. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is like one of the few Dragon Tamers <clears throat> in the game. Yeah, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on. One shot. No. no. Two shots, but though. No. We'll take a two shot. Especially when they missed. Yeah, missed is just like... I don't even know what the heck that does. I get missed and haze confused. Well, a lot of these moves are so similar. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Turn off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a minute. I might as well look it up. Finally... Answer my question. <clears throat> hey! Oh, nice. That's great. Good job, Lanayru. Mist. Creates a mist that stops reduction of abilities. Very specific. Uh-huh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hey, Dragon Tamer, want to see something cool? Yeah. That's very appropriate. The flapping of its wings sounds like singing. To prevent detection by enemies, it hides itself by flapping up a cloud of desert sand. Oh, jeez, another Pokemon. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so now you want to jump to the left, or down, and but stick to the left side as you do it. And then go down that ladder. I almost messed that up. <laughs> I, I almost done the goof. Yeah. Yep, yep. And we want to go through this little cave and surf across. This is the only spot where you can catch big ones. Hmm, so you can get a later mm -hmm. on. And we're going to teach that to Lanayru because it just evolved, so it needs a good move. Uh, yeah, it was two. 
Oh, it's number two. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because so for some reason, Monero can't learn any other dragon moves besides Dragon Breath. So I'm guessing we're getting rid of Dragon Breath. Yes. Bye, Dragon Breath. Mm -hmm. And Monero is all done. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Okay, we can escape rope out of here if you want. Oh, okay. We don't, we don't have dig. No. Monero knew it, but we got Earthquake now instead. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fair. Okay. Alright, where to next? Uh, we gotta do some level up stuff off camera. Cut! A well, actually. We got two rare candies. It's time to evolve me. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Uh huh. It's gonna take both of them. Nah, don't need iron defense. Hooray! This is the moment you've been waiting for for a long time, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. I'll let you have your moment. See, in the Pokedex entries, it talks about two Matangs fusing together to form a Metaverse, but we just have one and it somehow evolves, which is okay, because I like Metaverse. Metagross has four brains that are joined by a complex neural network. As a result of integration, this Pokemon is smarter than a supercomputer. Metagross is the result of two Matang achieving fusion. When hunting, this Pokemon pins prey to the ground under its massive body. It then eats the helpless victim with its large mouth on its stomach. Brilliant. Uh-huh. All right. So now we have our Metagross. Our so, team is fully evolved. Yay! All right. Okay, now we can train. Now we can train. Mm -hmm. And we're back. And after two weeks of grinding for Chris, we can now finally look at our results. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with Sundrop the Sceptile with Miracle Seed, Leaf Blade, Quick Attack, Crunch, and Aerial Ace. All those are the same. That's good. We got King Kong the Slack King with Silk Scarf, Return Thunderbolt, Brick Break, and Hyper Beam. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, added the return because it's better than strength now because our friendship with it is so good. Okay. And the Brick Break is for Rock type Pokemon. All right. We got Chris the Metagross with the Quick, quick Claw item. I couldn't speak for a second. Uh -huh. And Meteor Mash, Psychic, Sludge Bomb, and Shadow Ball. Yep, taught it the Shadow Ball from our TM from Mount Pyre. Is that what it is? Yeah. And uh, Meteor Mash was a level up from 55. All right. We got Lanayru the Flygon with Soft Sand. And the moves Dragon Claw, Steel Wing, Earthquake, and Flamethrower. Yeah, we got rid of Crunch and taught it Flamethrower instead for those Ice-type Pokemon. All right, that's fair because Ice-types can hurt dragons. Mm -hmm. We got Colonel the Blaziken with Magnet as the held item. I don't know where charcoal is, okay? Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not criticizing you. Uh huh. Uh, with the moves, uh, Thunder Punch, Double Kick, Rock Slide, and Flame Thrower. Yeah, initially I thought Blaziken learned um, Sky Uppercut at 57, but I was wrong, and it's 59. So mm. we got Double Kick for right now. Okay, and then finally we got Mr. Freeze the Wall Rain with the Mystic Water held item and moves Surf, Ice Beam, Waterfall, and Body Slam. Yeah, we were able to get rid of Dive. All right, yeah, we don't no. need Dive anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the team. And I think we're ready to take on the first member of the Elite Four. Yes. But these two guys are in our way. That's true. All right. So I can go? 
I, I would like it if it was like a door and you had to put all your badges in oh, the that'd... slots and then they would open up. That would look really cool, mm -hmm. actually. But they didn't have the room and the cartridge to do it, I guess. Probably. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is fire, right? Uh, dark. Dark. Okay. So do we want to start with the sun drop? We can, because his first Pokemon is going to be mighty, you know? And it's just going to intimidate whatever we put out. But Sundrop just uses a special attack move, so... Okay. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you've given me. I guess you'll give me a good match. And that's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Hey, dude. Whatever. I mean, the Mohawk is a choice, but... It is it is a choice. Uh -huh. Not that we're criticizing, I mean, hairstyles. Yeah. I, I wish I had a cool hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> Just um, leave Blade, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn uh, Battle anim anim Animations back on. Oh, that's makes, okay. Makes grinding up levels faster. It really does. Because uh -huh. it saves you at least two to three seconds with each attack. Yeah. It, the, for, like, surf, it's pretty slow, too. Yeah. A lot of people like to do that for speedruns. Uh -huh. Turn the animation off. Uh, Absol, do we want to keep it in? Oh, we can put the kernel in. Okay. And double kick. Kick you in the face. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get around the Intimidate, basically. Oh, uh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Double kick. Okay. Kick you twice. Oh, actually, I actually had to do both. Well, yeah. I mean, double kick is like 30 power, I think, for each one. So. Yeah. Alright, shift tree. We can stay in for that, yeah. Yep. Alright, and then, of course, flame. Yeah. It's such a cool animation that we can't see. That's alright. <laughs> oh, I don't think we've seen a shift tree yet. But... No, I don't think. I think we've seen a Nuzleaf and a C dot, but. Yeah. Oh, no, we have. Oh, we yeah, have. Really? Look at this. We need to double check. Okay. So, Crawdot will switch. Yep. Uh, Back to Sundrop. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. There you are, Sundrop. I know we saw Crawdon in the Victory Road. Yes, we did. Or and Leaf Blade. On the way to Victory Road somewhere around there. Man, this is so easy. Yeah, we might be a little over level, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Cactur. Oh, we're just, gonna we're just gonna switch back and forth, uh -huh. aren't we? Yep. I mean, if you want to mix it mm -hmm. up, you could pick somebody else, but... For this battle, I think. Two. Nah, we should be okay. Mm -hmm. If we use three Pokemon, then they're, then they're going to be like, oh man, he had to use three Pokemon. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Two uh -huh. is more embarrassing. Flamethrower. Okay, the Shiftry one says, It is said to arrive on chilly, wintry winds. Feared from long ago as a guardian of the forest, this Pokemon lives deep in the forest. Wood. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, maybe. Oh, Shiftry's large fans generate awesome gusts of wind at speed close to 100 feet per second. The whipped up wind blows anything away this Pokemon chooses to live quietly deep in forests. And there you go. Mm -hmm. And so. just like that, we beat Sydney. Yep. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Yeah, it was fun. So it doesn't matter. That's a good attitude to have. I, I don't think he got an attack off, though. No, he did How could that be fun? Some people just like to participate. I don't know. <laughs> well, listen to what this loser has to say. That's more like it. There you go. <laughs> You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Uh -huh. I'm sure we will. We don't even have to heal or anything. Nah. Alright, so this one... Who do we want first? Um, she's only got like 
Banette, Sableye, and Dusclops. We got rid of Crunch, didn't we? Uh, Sundrop has Crunch. Sundrop does have Crunch. Otherwise, um, yeah, I have Shadow Ball, which would be super effective against them, too. Yeah, but you're probably slower than... Yes, I am slower than Sundrop, yeah. <sighs> Fine. We'll just let Sundrop do all the work. Okay. Ha 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 I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune, to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. I mean, they added the dark type for a reason, so we're mm -hmm. fine. Also, we just don't have to, just don't use normal moves. Mm -hmm. Or fighting. Or fighting, yes. Hi, yeah. Dusclops. I can't remember if we've seen the net. I know we've seen Dusclops. And Dusclops protected. Sorry. Crunch is worthless. Again, another protect. Wow, that was lucky. We forgot to turn the animations back on. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> For next episode, I think we will. Okay. Unless you want to do it. Well, yeah, you got it. It only takes a second. No, you can do it in the options menu on the start. Oh, that's, really? You don't have to go back to the title. Oh, I thought you did. Nope. Okay. Then we'll do it after this battle, then. Another Dusclops. Yep. Mm, num num num. <laughs> I love ghost type Pokemon. Oh, this one survived, huh? Oh, the other one was crit, wasn't it? Ooh. Ice Beam. Why would you want to do that? Citrus Berry is not going to save you. I do have. We do have. Um. Ether, uh, not ethers, elixirs and max elixirs okay. if we run out of any move. Sun drops 58. And lap of berries, too. Okay, but that's... Alright, do we want to switch or keep sun Ah, uh, one more is fine. Okay, one more time. We don't want our Pokemon to go above level 60. That's the only thing. That would be bad. Uh-huh. We don't want that. At least right now. An abandoned plush doll became this Pokemon. They are said to live in garbage dumps and wander about in search of the children that threw them away. So sad. Uh huh. Alright, so Sableye is next. Uh, you can put me in for that one. Okay. Just do a meteor mash to the face. Try to break its gems that it has for eyes. So violent. I hate Sableye Hunter. Well, you beat it in one hit. Good! There you... It's what it deserves. I did not know you hated Sableye this <laughs> yes, much. It eats gemstones. Why would you want that as a Pokemon? You know how expensive that diet is? I guess I never <laughs> thought of it like that. Uh -huh. I thought, oh, oh, okay, maybe gemstones are more common and okay. Uh, are we switching? Because I think it's ah, another. Just keep it in. Oh, it's another bit You can do a shadow ball then. Ah, oh, okay. Shadow, shadow ball. Yay! Mm -hmm. Oh darn! I've gone and lost. There is a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Okay, mm. so option. Yep. yep, and that's it. Alright. So in the remakes, there's some... Sometimes when you're in this room and Phoebe's talking, you can see a ghost girl in the background. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, is there anything we need to heal quick? Uh, no, we're good for the next one. We're good for the next one? Okay. And we can start with King Kong this time. Okay, I'll do that quick before I forget. Well, 
Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so I may hone my ice skills, but all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. <laughs> Probably could have used like a more, I guess, proper voice. Ah, I just thought it was fine. Yeah. What kind of ball was that? It looks like green, kind yeah. of. It's a nest ball. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thunder ball. Yeah. There's the animation. So much cooler. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, um, boo. Yeah, we might have knocked it out with return. It would have been close. Alright, so does it when we loaf around It doesn't use a PP or it doesn't? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my only uh, question. Yeah. So right. do you want me to try return next? Yeah. Okay. We'll save the hyper beams for For yeah, for the, when we the need to rain or something else. But yeah. Return. Hello, I'd like to return this package to your face. Oh, okay. Yay. Right. Okay. That works. All right, now we can swap out. Okay, yep. Because it's Galilee. Uh -huh. I'm guessing you want Colonel. Uh-huh. Colonel Blaze again. Uh -huh. A Glalie has the power to instantaneously freeze moisture in the atmosphere. A dazzling cloud of diamond-like ice crystals form around its body. Oh. Glalie has the ability to freely control ice. For example, it can instantly freeze its foe solid. After immobilizing its foe in ice, this Pokemon enjoys eating it in leisurely fashion. Yeah, I knew that's where you were going to go with that. <laughs> so if it can just instantly freeze its opponent... Yeah, why did we lose? Yeah, how is it not the world's greatest Pokemon? I, I guess you have to use a fire Pokemon or something that can't be frozen. I have no idea. Uh -huh. Alright, anyhow, Wolverine's coming up. Yep. Big bad wall rain. We don't want to do wall rain battles. That would take way too long. No, so we're just gonna punch it in the face with our breath. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's the hyper of the beam. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. Yeah, that one could be annoying with uh, just all how much HP it has. Right, and then ooh, Celio, do we wanna? Um, Sun, or do we just keep King Kong in? Uh, Steel is, or Meteor Mash would be super effective. That's true too. Mm -hmm. You make a good point. Yeah, at least I think it is. I would think is so. Steel is super, well, Steel is. Just neutral damage against water? Or is it not very effective? Oh, we'll find out. Yeah. Let's do the Meteor Mash. The Meteor Mash. So pretty. It is. I like anything with the, the cosmic background for the attack. Well, whatever. It's it's enough. Yeah. Galilee. Alright. Or do you want to keep... Yeah, yeah, I can stay in for another. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, mm -hmm. let's level up our Pokemon equally. Yeah. The do the meteor mm. mash. The meteor mash. I don't know what I'm thinking <laughs> of for a song. I do like Glalie's design. Uh, I do too. Uh, the Mega Glalie is like metal because it like unhinges its whole jaw basically. Heavy metal. You and your Pokemon. How hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills fail to harm you. 
So, have you just been fighting a bunch of people that have, like, ice weaknesses and water weaknesses? I guess Cause so. That was not a very... Well, we're also kind of on a level, too, so... I know. Advance to the next room. And there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Hey, why don't you get some diversity in your team next time? Yeah, right? Because that's two Pokemon, three Pokemon, two from, what? Yeah. from two lines. What, two Celia, one Wolverine? Yeah. But why? Yeah. And two Galalee. Yeah. I mean, that's worse than Bruno. I mean, we don't talk about I, Bruno. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who do we want in front for this one? Uh, we can do Lanero to start with. Okay. Yeah, Lanero hasn't seen any fighting. Yeah. Or Mr. Freeze. Yeah, well, I mean, it's got dragon Pokemon, so this will be where Mr. Freeze does well. I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon wild living things, they are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. I mean, we're at the Elite Four, I think we somewhat have what it takes. Yeah. Also put a shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Shieldon. Mm -hmm. Or Shieldon, I say Shieldon. I, I say Shieldon, yeah. Alright. Dragon versus Dragon. Who yep. will win? It hardly eats while it awaits evolution. It becomes hardier by enduring hunger. Its shell peels off the instant it begins to evolve. Covering Shelgon's body are outgrowths, much like bones. The shell is very hard and bounces off enemy attacks. When awaiting evolution, this Pokemon hides away in a cavern. Hmm. That's a Flygon next. Yeah, well, switch to the wall right then. Okay. Because ice. Ice beam will be four times. That's, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're saying the Shelgon is a cocoon. For the big dragon. Type. Yes, it is. All right. Surprise is not dragon bug. Um, we talked about it being bone more than. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. Not earthquake. No. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how do you get earthquake? We only we have the only earthquake TM. I guess they mass produce them. Yeah. He bought on the black market. Yeah. Or we bought on the black market. I don't know. Oh, oh no. Team Magma dropped it in the cavern. They bought off the black yeah, market. That's what happened. There we go. All right. Salamence. Uh, well, we're going to see him. All right. Sorry, Mr. Freeze. Don't you dare call me mm -hmm. Wolverine again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Mr. Freeze. After many long years, in cellular, its cellular structures underwent a sudden mutation of girl wings. When angered, it loses all thought and rampages out of control. But it doesn't learn outrage. Go figure. <laughs> By evolving into Salamance, this Pokemon finally realizes its life, its long-held dream of growing wings. To express its joy, it flies and wheels all over the sky while spouting flames from its mouth. And we one-shot it. Oh, yeah. It's four oh. times weak to ice. Yay, Altaria. <laughs> Same thing. All right, Mr. Freeze. Mm -hmm. Do your work. Yeah, I want to destroy <laughs> you with my ice beam. Ooh, double edge. Your puny attack does nothing on mm -hmm. me. I'm losing it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I can do an Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Who, who, th who would have thunk? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, All Kingdra. Right, this pain on the rear. Um, okay, we can put the... Put the Lanayru out, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because for some reason, Kingdra's just good. Yeah, it has the fewest number of 
weaknesses and the most number of resistances and all that stuff. So just dragon claw. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because stealing is really not going to do much. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we two shot it. One. Okay. Mm. Ugh, smoke screen. That's fine. It can be more annoying than anything. I I'd rather it smoke screen than double team. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if it double team, and, and no smoke screen and double team. Oh, well, I mean wands, King Grenu double team. So oh. I would prefer that, because then it's on itself and you can't just switch around to, to get around oh. the smoke screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. We beat Drake. Yep. Superb. It should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtu virtuous heart. Yep. I cannot pronounce mm -hmm. words. I only read at a third grade level. Yep. <laughs> Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. Do we want to do that on the next episode? We could, but then the next episode might be very short. Well, there's credits, and there's post-game content. Dun-dun. <laughs> All right. We will save the champion for the next episode. Okay. So make sure you hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be sure to join us for some more awesome perks right here on Mount Moon TCG.